I'm gonna share with you my four favorite commercial brands of oil paint, as well as demonstrate their handling properties on my palette. Now, if you follow this channel, you know that I really like making my own paint, and that is actually my favorite paint. But that does not preclude me from buying commercial paint. So if I'm going to buy a commercial tube of paint, I'm really looking at three key factors. I wanna know that they have a very good product, so I'm looking at how they're making it and what they're putting into it. I'm looking at their customer service, so I wanna know how responsive they are as a company, as well as uh, how willing they are to talk with me about their products so I can best utilize them in my own practices. And then the third thing I'm looking for is the kinds of offerings that they have as a company in terms of color choices and pigments. The first company I want to talk about is Williamsburg Oil Colors. It comes out of Brooklyn, New York, technically Williamsburg, New York. And they are a small oil company outfit that was recently purchased in the last five to 10 years by Golden Artist Materials. I personally like this move because Golden is a very great company when it comes to research and development of artist materials, as well as investment in the knowledge and customer service components of artist materials as it pertains to its customers, the artists. I really enjoy the color selection that Williamsburg offers and coming out of the tube, the paint handles pretty well on the palette. Every now and then I tend to throw a, a drop or two of oil into it, but by and large, it's a pretty satisfying product just coming straight out of the tube. The next company I'm gonna talk about is Old Holland. That's actually one of the oldest oil paint companies in the world. It comes out of the Netherlands and it was actually founded uh, through the Guild of St. Luke uh, around 1664. And uh, Old Holland, uh, similar to Williamsburg, uh, really great responsiveness. They have a tremendous uh, selection of colors. I really like Old Holland colors because they're very connected to history. So as it pertains to pigment selections, recipes, and uh, historical processes in terms of making paint, they are sticking to the book um, through the lineage of their company and through the lineage of these guilds that go back to the old Northern Renaissance. There's not a tremendous amount of companies that offer a Caput Mortem, for example. I really love that about them. This company tends to have paint that is particularly stiff coming out of the tube, but it's very highly pigmented. You put a drop or two of oil into it on your palette and it's buttery, creamy, it moves around great. So it's another company that I would uh, highly recommend and I used a lot of their colors when I was doing my paintings through graduate school. The third company I wanna talk about is Michael Harding. It's a company out of the UK and Michael Harding himself is a really high quality paint maker. He's very responsive. He's very active on social media. I would say Michael Harding paints are as close as I could possibly buy to getting a paint that when it comes out of the tube, it's how I would make it. So if I was making my own oil colors, I want them to have the handling properties of Michael Harding paints. They are really fantastic to work with. I actually really enjoy as well that they offer some pretty select colors that you don't find in a lot of companies. They have an authentic stack flake white lead. They also have uh, authentic lapis. When you have a company that's willing to put the effort in to make those kind of products, you can't overlook that. And the product itself is just phenomenal. The final company that I would recommend, and I think probably my personal favorite out of all of these, is Rublev. Rublev Oil Colors is made by Natural Pigments out of California. And the co-founders of the company, George and Tanya, uh, have really put a tremendous foot forward in the arts world in terms of technical knowledge, uh, historical pigments and practices, as well as uh, creating products that raise the bar for artist materials. To the best of my knowledge, the one thing that I think really sets Rublev apart from its competitors is that they offer an additive free oil paint line. So when you are buying their paint, you are buying strictly pigment and oil. A lot of the standard additives, extender pigments, uh, sicatives that might get put into a commercial tube of paint to keep its shelf life up, Rublev will not put those in their paint. All four of these companies, I think, should be considered highly regarded as top-notch professional oil paint companies. 
I have all of them on my palette when I'm buying paint. If I was forced to rank them, my personal rankings would be Rublev at number one, followed by a very, very close second in Michael Harding, then Old Holland at number three, and Williamsburg at number four. That's my personal rankings. However, if you were to get paints from any of these companies, your paintings and your palette are gonna thank you for it.